Hello, everybody, and welcome to the iVolatility API walkthrough video. So in this video, we're going to be going over our API tool, the documentation for it, and we're actually going to be pulling a little bit of data off the cloud. So with that, let's get started. When you log in, the first thing you'll see is our dashboard. Here, you'll receive a welcome message and access to your various tools. If you're a subscriber to any of our tools, you're probably familiar with this screen. At the top of the page, you can also register for one of our webinars, which are especially helpful if you're new to the iVolatility tool suite. Let's start by taking a look at the tools that come included in the iVolatility API. You get the API guide, the Postman API interface, and uh, an API key generator. So let's start with the guide. I'm going, I'm going to click on that link and immediately be redirected to our documentation. This is our redoc page, which is broken down into different sections, including the introduction, the authentication, uh, some of the results you may get, Python implementation with examples, and the API endpoints themselves. Each endpoint includes a description, example request, query parameters, and also sample responses. Now let's jump back to the dashboard and let's take a look at the API key section. Right here on the home screen, you'll be able to see all of your different API keys. You can also add an additional API key or delete existing keys. We're just going to use the existing API keys that are available here. The last thing you need is the API interface. So if you're familiar with these types of tools, you probably already have an API platform that you prefer to use. But today, we're just going to use the Postman interface that comes straight out of the box. This tool is really useful because it already includes a lot of the different formulations and recipes that you might need to pull data from. But they are all available in the documentation, so you can use your tool of choice. Now, if you don't have an account, feel free to sign up for free, but I'm just going to sign into my uh, existing account. All right, now that I'm signed into uh, the account, we can actually go and get some data off the cloud. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fork the iVolatility collection into our own personal API collection. So here I see Levy's fork, and I'm going to fork the collection over. Now that this fork is created, I can start making API calls. So to do that, I'm going to want to press the plus button up here. And then I'm going to need a, an API URL to actually pull the data. So let's start off with something simple. Let's say that we're actually looking to pretend to get uh, end of day equity prices. So I'm going to go over to my documentation. I'm going to go into the equity uh, end of day equities. I'm going to scroll down to the end of day equity prices. And I can see this sample request right here. So I want to copy that. I want to go over to my Postman interface and paste that in. So I can see a lot of the data has been preloaded. I could change the date or the symbol, but the thing which I have to change is the API key. For that, I'm going to go over here, make sure I click the copy button so I don't miss any over here, letters. And now I'm going to replace this entire text with the API key. Now that I've done that, I can send my request and I can see I get my data back and I can see I have my open, high, low, close volume and so on. And it's this nice data format. I can get it as a JSON, use it in my uh, workflow. This is a relatively simple example. So let's look at something a little bit more complicated. A question we often get is how do I get data for backtesting? So for today's backtest, I'm going to be getting rolling options prices for 10 years, S&P, three months with a 104 to 106 money. Is. Okay, so for that, I'm going to want to go back into my documentation. And I'm going to scroll down to the options backtesting. There's a lot of information and different parameters that you can use, but we're just going to take this default example and we're going to copy it and paste it into our Postman interface. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to substitute our API key. So let's go back to our dashboard, copy that, go back over to our Postman, and paste that into the spot. 
Okay. So we said we are going to do SPX. I'm going to substitute that. And for the date, I actually want it to be 10 years and I want it to go from a start date to an end date. So we said 10 years. Let's actually do 10 years from previous December. So we're going to go to 2013, 12, and we can leave the 16 right there. And we want to go to 2023, 12, 16. We said we wanted to go from 104, 106, and we wanted to go three months out. So I'm going to put the days to expiry from 89 to 91. And the last thing I'm going to want to not forget is that I'm actually looking for just the calls. So I'm going to put uh, CP and make that equal to uh, call. So now I can send this request and hopefully I get a response. Great. So I got this response and I can see that it was successful uh, in preparing the data for me. But to get the details, I need to now click on this link. That's going to open up a new tab in my Postman. I'm going to send this and I'm going to receive the link that I need to download. So if you're automating this in a script, everything is here uh, to get neat data into your back test. But since we're just doing it on the fly, I'm going to just copy and paste that right here. And I can see that's in my downloads. And this is going to open up in numbers, but you can just as easily open this up in your Excel or any other database that you're using. So I can see everything has is in here, organized exactly as I asked for it. So that covers what we wanted to cover today for this walkthrough. We really hope that the overview was helpful to you. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at iVolatility.com. Thank you and happy trading.